Hello boys and girls. Today I'm going to do a review on the Fiskars folding saw. Is it a bang for your buck? So I was shopping at Walmart the other day and went through the gardening aisle and my eye caught this. So I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and give this thing a shot. We'll go ahead and get it out of the package. This model is a seven inch stainless steel blade. The Walmart price I paid was $11.99. After the fact, I saw it listed on Amazon for $7.99. So I could have saved a few bucks by purchasing from Amazon. Oh well. Either way, it's still a bargain compared to more popular folding saws such as the Banco Laplander and Silky Saws. The Amazon price listed for the Laplander is $23.57. And the prices listed on Amazon for the Silky is $25 and higher depending on the model. This is the first folding saw that I've ever owned. And the reason why I wanted a folding saw is uh, for lighter carry, packable. If you, got, if you got a backpack, slide it right down in one of the pockets in your pack. Or if you got pockets on the outside of your pack. Now you're not going to go out and try to saw anything you know, much bigger than your wrist with this because you're, you're just going to be wearing yourself out. So let's go ahead and put this thing to the test. You can see the blade has some play. Not a lot of play at the locking joint, the rotating joint, but it does have some flexibility and that's what you want. And it has the hole here at the end of the handle so you can put a lanyard on it if you want. And once the blade is open, it's locked until you press the locking mechanism to unlock it. It locks again about three three quarters of the way down then you have to press again and getting it in the groove here you just kind of don't force it and it'll go right in there as you can see i have two different sizes of, of wood here two different size limbs let's go ahead and try the small small limb and see see how the fisker does That was very little effort. It's probably worth pointing out that uh, when you're using folding saws like this, make sure you saw to the side of your body because any slip or after it goes through the wood, you run the risk of hitting yourself in the leg, hitting yourself in the junk. And you don't want to do that. Not too bad. I can tell one thing. You might want to wear a glove if you're going to do a lot of sawing because it was starting to dig into my hand. And, if, and I can tell if I did it repeatedly for a long period of time, over and over, it's going to start wearing my hand out. It's a good grip, but 
it, dig, it digs into your hand, I can tell. This is a more dense piece of wood. This is oak. Actually, this is probably punky. Let's see what the metal's like. A little bit thicker in diameter. Yeah, this, this wood is punk. A little bit solid there in the center, but for the most part, that's punky. Here we have a pretty good sized tree limb. Let's give it a go. This one is a little bit big. Like I was saying, it's bigger than wrist thick. It's more solid. It's not going to replace your bow saw or your boreal folding bow, bow saw, but it can handle small tasks. Fisker's folding saw is not a bad option, very affordable, packable for light work. It's not going to be as efficient or aggressive as a, a Baco Lap Lander or a Silky, but it's a very affordable option that you can put in your backpack for backpacking, hiking, bushcraft. What's up guys? It's dinner time. Come here! For when it's time to bug the fuck out. This goes. So, see you in chapter five.